Another weekend, another promo, which means another objectives, guys. Today, lads, we're going to be looking at Rule Breakers Paulinho. This card looks actually respectable, you know, good pace, solid shooting. I'm actually not sure. I do want to see what his uh, in-game stats are for his skill moves and weak foot. Four-star, three-star is not awful. 98 sprint speed. Honestly, doesn't look like an awful card for this point of the game. Now, if you guys are new to my objective guide series, all new objectives EA do release, I go over step-by-step, -step, give you guys my tips, tricks, a squad builder if necessary, and all in all, just hopefully I can try and speed up the process. If you've got any questions that I did leave unanswered throughout this video, Make sure to let me know down below, and I'll try to get back to you ASAP. Without further ado, though, lads, let's get into it. So first of all, we've got assist six goals with crosses in the live foot friendly Rule Breakers Rush, which we'll go ahead and have a look at the Rule Breakers Rush friendly shortly. But for the assist goals with crosses, here is how you do a cross assist. To assist with a cross, it is very simple. All you have to do is get into the right position and press square on PlayStation, or it would be X if you are on Xbox, and it will perform a cross. Now, whether you score from that cross with a header, with a volley, whatever, just make sure you score from it with your first touch. Now, I know there will be some questions about this, all right? And listen up. Some people say crosses sometimes do not count, and sometimes they don't. I understand. I've been in the same position. Now, make sure you score it on your first touch, okay? And two, sometimes they count if, uh, if it's a short-range cross. So let's say you're, like, close to them, but sometimes they don't. Sometimes for EA to register it as a cross, they want you to literally be out of outside of the box and cross it to one of your players, right? Sometimes if you're in a box and you like ship it over or cross it over, I should say, then it will count, but sometimes it won't. And if it doesn't, it's like different for every objective. And if it doesn't, then make sure that you're a relatively big distance away when you're doing a cross. That's more of an EA mess up than anything. It's like literally some objectives, the short crosses count, some of them they don't. It is absolutely ridiculous, but how can I say I'm surprised when it is EA? So if you're, if you're struggling, make sure to give that one a go. Score seven goals using Brazilian players, self-explanatory. Score an assist using Bundesliga players in seven separate matches. Just to clarify, this does not have to be with that same Bundesliga player. You could score with, let's say, Adeyemi, for example, and then you can go ahead and assist with let's just say Serge Nabry that's a goal and an assist that will tick off it does not have to be with the same player win three matches with at least three Bundesliga players and at least three Brazilian players in your starting lineup let's, let's go ahead and let's have a look at the rule breakers rush friendly game mode and then I'll go ahead and build you guys a, uh, a squad builder that you can use so go on over to friendlies go on over to play online now if we have a look for the requirements for rule breakers rush we go over here and as you can see circled at least three clubs at least three nations at at most one lone player before i remove my webcam it is no rules which means there's no offsides which means you can two foot your opponent's striker if he's through on goal and nothing will happen so i like that from ea it's quite fun all right let's get into the squad builder right so this is a squad builder that we have come up with now, as you can see, we have got three Brazilians in Galeno, Fred, and Red and Lodi. And we have also got at least three Bundesliga players. In fact, we do have four Bundesliga players. Now, for the formation, we've gone for a 4-3-3. Three, 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 simply because you need crosses and you're, you've, got, you've got a higher chance of scoring a cross when you've got a right wing and a left wing formation. Now, with this, I do want to mention, make sure to position modify a Galeno from a left mid to a left wing. Position modifiers are very cheap or there is an SBC that I think, like, one bronze player gives you it if you've not completed that yet make sure to make use of that one but basically at left wing we have gone for galeno striker we've gone for malian with balarabi i'll click on his name if you guys want because i know my webcam is covering the names balarabi at right wing with a midfield three of fred gravenberg and so left back we've gone for renan lodi and for the rest we've just gone for a premier league team we've got saliba konate and babu and in it we have gone for nick hope all right so we've got the three brazilian players we've got the three bundesliga players reminder you need to score with brazilian players so galeno fred will be your best chances at scoring and you need to score and assist with bundesliga players so you want to try and get say maybe an assist with balarabi to malian and then just try get some brazilian goals throughout the match will be your go-to plan but enough further ado let's get into the tips right we're going to start off with tip number one lads and that is going to be the bench now you're only 
allowed at most one lone player and if you do not have a lone player in your starting 11 if you still have a lone Mbappe then make sure to, to uh, redeem that through the foot moment section get your moments bar Mbappe on the bench and you can sub him on then you can just sub on your best players in your club reminder you can make up to five substitutions this year and so much people do not know that all right because with five subs in real life, EA have made it five subs in FIFA 23. So I could sub on all five of these players if I want. Um, obviously, you do not want to sub off your Bundesliga or Brazilian players because then you've got no one to complete the objectives with. So maybe some nice defender super subs. You could definitely look down that route. Um, or maybe after you get maybe a, a Bundesliga goal and assist, then you can look at subbing them off in game. But tip number one is going to be the subs. Which leads me into tip number two, lads, and that is going to be custom them tactics yes you heard that right custom tactics are so overpowered when it comes to online friendlies if you want a little bit more of a in-depth explanation on custom tactics if you will here is a pre-recorded example Custom tactics, in my opinion, is very important because not much people use them in friendly game modes. Now, I'm not going to give you guys some certain custom tactics to use, but what I do really like this year is direct passing for balanced, and if you do want to edit your attacking and defensive ones as well, I do recommend fast build up for attacking and even press after possession loss if you want. Now, as for in-game as well, if you really do want to change formations, you could do that for your like attacking defensive. You could start as a 4-3-3 and change change in game to a 4 one 2 one 2 second variation something like that you know because so much people in friendly game modes they're gonna make a new team they're going to get the requirements and they're just going to leave all their custom tactics on balanced they're not going to change the in-game formation they're not going to do player instructions so if you do that yourself it will give you a little bit of an advantage and what you could do is you could copy your custom tactics for your main team something that you're used to if you do not run custom tactics on your main team then there's plenty of videos on youtube I've even got some videos of my own for custom tactics on my own YouTube that is a created playlist in my playlist section if you do want to check that out. And the third out of our four tips we will give today is going to be chemistry styles. Now, as you can see, majority of these players are on full chem. I mean, all our defenders are on full chem. Our midfielders, uh, two of our center mids and Malin are on two out of three chemistry along with Nick Pope. The only players on one at chemistry point is Balarabi and Galeno. So we probably wouldn't use them. And you will see what I'm talking about in a second to this example. But let's get in to the chemistry styles example and how it can benefit you. Chemistry styles, in my opinion, are so important important especially for the lower rated players because it can make them perform a lot better in game for example this card right here he is on zero out of three chemistry points which means i probably wouldn't worry about putting a chemistry style on him because as you can see he gets absolutely no boost whatsoever now ryan kent on the other hand is on one out of three chemistry points which i still think is not so much worth putting a chemistry style because he only gets plus ones on the board and i think that's just a little bit of a waste as for players that are two out of three chemistry points or more though, I do think that is where you're going to want to start getting some chemistry souls on them. For example, Ben Guetta is on two out of three and he's starting to get some plus twos throughout the board. Therefore, I think all of your players that are at least two out of three chem points, it's worth getting a chemistry style on them. You can do so by going to apply consumable and going over to your chemistry style tab. There you will see all of the chemistry styles in your club. You've got attacking, midfielders, defending one as well. I would avoid using hunters though because you don't really want to use that. It's a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit excessive for objectives. Now, this is a prime example of chemistry styles. Player from Unfalverde who is on three out of three chemistry points, so the maximum points. As you can see, he's got an engine applied. With this engine attributes boost, he goes to 94 pace in game, roughly 89 or 90 pace passing he gets a nice dribbling boost as well so it just goes to show give the chemistry styles on your players i think all of your players that are on at least two chemistry points and it will benefit them in game so as mentioned make sure to get some chem styles in my opinion on all of the players on at least two out of three chemistry so everyone in the team except for your wingers coincidentally enough now let's for tip four and it might work a little bit different this time around but nonetheless it will still work 
if you're in a circumstance where it will benefit you. So not everyone will be, you know, taking help from this tip, but it is going to be golden goal. Golden goal is an unspoken community rule and is very self-explanatory. Basically, whoever scores first, the other opponent will go ahead and back out. So if you go 1-0 down, you may as well back out because there's no worse feeling than having to win the game. You get to the 70th minute and you go 1-0 down. You feel like you've just wasted so much time. Now, this was on stream and as you can see, it was a game mode where we did need a win and only 13 minutes into the game which is like two irl minutes we go one nil up my opponent quits now we're going to speed this up so you guys know i'm not cutting it until like you know five games later because that's just unrealistic so i'm going to speed the whole process up again to the game after and the exact same thing happens we go one nil up and my opponent backs out that's two wins that we got in the space of maybe four irl minutes Compared to having to actually play the full games out, usually would take like half an hour, 15 minutes a match. Um, obviously, if you do go 1-0 down as well, you will have to quit yourself because then it just makes it much more effective. So make sure, lads, to do some golden goal. Now, the reason I say it might not be beneficial for everyone is because you need Brazilian goals and you also need Bundesliga goals and assists. Therefore, that wouldn't work because you'd need at least two goals every single match. So golden goal would not work. I do understand that, but... With the Brazilian goals, they're not in separate matches. If you go ahead and look at the objectives and you have a look at the Brazilian goals, as you can see, the Brazilian goals just score seven goals using Brazilians. This is not in separate matches. So one work around this is you could just try to get as much Brazilian goals in one or two matches as you can. Uh, you could even chuck a pause, message your opponent if you're both on the same console and see if he just lets you score seven goals and you'll do the same for him. That way you can chip away at your crosses along with your Brazilian goals. Then you will be left with a score and assist using Bundesliga players in separate matches. So after you get the Brazilian goals and maybe some of the crosses, then you can start focusing on the score and assist using Bundesliga players and start focusing on golden goal that way. So as I said, a golden goal if you've done all the Brazilian goals, that is only when Golden Goal is going to benefit you, okay? Because you do not want to go into it, start doing Golden Goal, whilst you've still got all your Brazilian goals you have to get, and your score and assist using Bundesliga players, right? Now, with a score and assist using Bundesliga players, you can complete this within one goal. As I mentioned earlier, you can assist from a Bundesliga player, then score it with a Bundesliga player. That will indeed count, all right, lads? So all in all, lads, for the overview, it's a relatively simple objective, but for the assist, six goals with crosses, as I said, it is just square on PlayStation or X if you are on Xbox. Sometimes EA are absolute donuts and they sometimes allow it. If it's a short range cross, it will count. Sometimes for some objectives, you have to, it has to be a distance cross. It has to be like an outside of a box type of cross. Score seven goals using Brazilians. As I said, you could chuck a pause, see if your opponent does let you get those Brazilian goals early on and you could do the crosses at the same time because crosses I know can be a bit of a struggle. Um, Obviously, if your opponent's not up to that, then you'll just have to get that by yourself. Score and assist using Bundesliga players. Once again, it does not have to be with one singular player. And you have got win three matches with at least three Bundesliga. We've got So, Balarabi, Malin, and Gravenberg, and at least three Brazilians, which we've got Galeno, Fred, and Renan Lodi. Lads, remember chemistry styles, remember your super subs, remember your custom tactics, and if you're in a position where you can do so, remember your golden goal. If you guys did enjoy any unanswered questions, Questions in this video that I failed to answer any of your questions, make sure to let me know down below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Until the next one, boys, I'll see you later. I've just clocked that my webcam has froze, so you guys get two outros today. See you later.